And this is Attila Ambrus. He was a better bank robber than he was a hockey player. Uh, there's a lot of things you could call this guy, and Quitter's not one of them. Born in Transylvania in 1967, Attila smuggled himself to the country that would eventually embrace him as a national hero by hiding under the undercarriage of a passenger train. He arrived in Hungary in 1988, and Attila na uh, naively thought he should play hockey for UTE, which is Budapest's uh, hockey team. Practically from the beginning, the faults were obvious. Barely scraping by, Ambrose lacked the funds to buy the equipment. Sleeping in a broom closet, he worked around the stadium as a janitor. Embarrassed around his teammates, he swore to himself to never go without money again. He should have embraced uh, other reasons. With virtually no hockey experience to his name, many consider Ambrose the worst goalie in professional hockey history. His tryouts were so bad that the other players broke his nose for fun. In one game, the opposing team scored 23 goals on him. That's more than some teams make in an entire season. Attila lacked concentration. He had other things on his mind. UTE scheduled allowed Ambrose to tour across the country. Along the way, Attila robbed local banks. Nicknamed the Whiskey Robber, Ambrose stuck up tellers while swigging booze. Exceptionally well-mannered, he always handed the female cashiers in the middle of the heist a flower. He had no reason to fear. Most Hungarian banks did not have guards or alarms, and the police were equally inept. 1999, he was finally arrested, only to escape out the window by tying bedsheets, shoelaces, and phone cables together. A few months uh, after a few months. Uh, the ensuing manhunt involved 400 police officers, and by the end, Attila had committed a total of 27 heists, landing him with a roughly 100 million fortnight total windfall, or about $500,000.